now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! Yes, Bee, it's a horsey! <laughs> Why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! Yeah. Hursley? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. What do you think of that, Bee? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down! <laughs> Gran, what's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. Oh, she is in a mood. That's because nobody's got any. Hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. I've been thinking. Uh, riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horsey? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. <laughs> We're horsey. Any minute. Now, love, Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Because we're mates, Curly, and mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse, so no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> Hussy! Hussy! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Nay! B! No! Hussey! Joy! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child pull up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. All of you, out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. Oh, oh yum. Parface, where are we going? OK, angle of inclination, seven degrees, wind speed, about three knots south southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, ah. 
Oh, Father, you must take more care. We're horsey. <laughs> Horse with him, has he? Okay, I'll uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right. into any more trouble. Well, <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seems to be a change of rider. Heavens! Down on the I horse know Chucky's a small, but that one's absolutely down tiny. Down Ooh, can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute. That is B. And that's Dennis. Hang on, B. We're coming! Wheelie, Gran! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster, Gran! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, they're neck and neck. It's anybody's race. I'm here, <laughs> Faster, Gran! Side. At least B was happy, even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go, then. Giddy up! Hey, <laughs> Hang on, 
you off to? I'm going home. We're going on a pie holiday. But we can't just go home. We've got to make the most of this sweet moment. Let's go to the park for a game. Nice one, Curly. Come on, pie face. Savour the taste of freedom. OK, just for a bit. As long as I get to savour the taste of pie later. Hey, all right, let's go! School will be finishing about now. And it doesn't begin again for six whole weeks. Curly's going camping with his parents. And Pie Face is visiting pie factories in Europe. So we've got to keep Dennis busy. Stop him from being a pest. Right. Who can that be? Surely you can't have got into trouble already. School only finished five minutes ago. I've only just had this moustache waxed. My jumper's soaked right through and it's dry clean only, you know. And as for my boots, they're ruined. Hi, Dad. Mum. <laughs> Colonel, has it been raining? <coughs> hey, boy, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> Hold on a minute. The Colonel here says he was knocked into Beano Town Lake by a football. It wasn't me. Well, OK, technically that is my football, but it was Curly who kicked it. Dennis! We only went to the park for a game of footy, but Curly curved the ball past Pie Face and it went into the lake. I tried to get it back with a tennis racket. You're grounded, son. For the rest of the day. But then I dropped the racket and tried to get that back with a golf club. For the whole weekend. A week. For some reason, Mrs Creature started chasing me, so I borrowed a bike... A month! ..and I cycled through some wet cement. Six months! ..and some thorny bushes. Two years! But I got away because I took a shortcut through Sergeant Slipper's garden. <laughs> Ten years! Dennis! How was I to know it was his birthday? You are grounded! But what for? For ever! This is the worst thing ever. First day of the holidays and I'm grounded. I should at least be able to play in the treehouse. Ha ha! The treehouse! That's it! Come on, Nasha. So much for being... Inside! Now! Oh! You'll not get away that easily. Well, that's right. Yeah. After your shenanigans, the whole town's looking out for you. I only wanted to go to the park. I didn't mean for all that other stuff to happen. Sorry, son. Like I said, you're grounded for good. Huh. Cup of tea, Sergeant. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't mind if I do. This is serious, Nasha. Everyone's trying to keep me indoors. I'll show them. They can't keep me grounded. And then I said, in these shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I caught this paper boy doing his rounds. Dennis! It's no good trying to get out of your punishment. Go to your room! You too, Nasha. <laughs> now you're here, you may as well stay for a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely. I think your son has misunderstood the meaning of grounded. I caught him trying to tunnel his way out. <laughs> Stray pups! I caught these. 
two trying to sneak onto our tour bus. Blooming cheek. Well, since you've come all the way over here, why don't you stay for a bit? Oh, thanks, man. Don't mind if I do. It's so boring in here. I've got to get out. But I can't, cos everyone in Beano Town is looking out for me. That's it. It's me they're looking for, so if they can't see me... Hi! 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 Sorry, Nasha. This is a stealth op. I can't risk being spotted. <laughs> I'm out of the house and no one has spotted me. Free salt! Now for some fun! Quiet? Where is everyone? <laughs> They're all inside. It's not much fun out here if everyone else is in there. Mm. Oh, Nasha, you're right. What's the use? It's no fun out here on my own. I might as well accept my punishment and stay indoors. Oh, hello, Miss Blitz. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bowles. Oh, lovely to see you here. Yes, I know. Oh, grounding Dennis really seems to have brought everyone together. Yeah. Brought everyone here, though. I had to come and get some more lemonade. I keep running out. And I've just made another batch of cookies. This lot eat more than Dennis and his friends put together, including Nasha. I don't know if I can take any more. When are they all going to leave? When the food runs out, I suppose. Looking after Beano Town is more trouble than keeping Dennis out of mischief. Yeah, you're right. Hang on a minute. Maybe Dennis can help us. It looks like all that escaping's tied him out. Dennis? Hmm. There's something we need you to do. Something that you do best. All right, I'll do it. But only on one condition. Anything. Come on, Nasha. It's time to join the party. <laughs> I must say, you do have your uses. Now that I've got rid of everyone, does that mean I'm ungrounded? Well, I suppose you did get everyone to go home. And you should really be out getting some fresh air, so... Yes, you're ungrounded. Result! Oh, thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Yay! The holidays start here. Woohoo! <laughs> Dennis, it's not morning yet. You have to go back to bed first. Oh. Dennis! <laughs> Hello, Gran. Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Nipper's competing in the big dog show in the park. 
You want to enter Nasher too? I don't know, Gran. Duck shows aren't really Nasher's thing. <coughs> There'll be lots of other dogs there. <coughs> nah, he still doesn't fancy it. It's sponsored by Butch Butcher. There's a load of sausages for the winner. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a yes, then. <laughs> what are you doing here, Dennis? This is the competitor's entrance. Yeah, so? Well, I hardly think your mass is fit to compete. <laughs> All this other mongrel. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, check these out. Official entry forms for Nasher and Nipper. <sighs> Honestly, they're letting in any old riff-raff these days. Now that's more like it. Look at Miss Miniwoof. Just the kind of classy dog we want in the show. Uh, uh, hello, Athena. Uh, hello, Miss Miniwoof. <laughs> oh, Walter. Get rid of those creatures. Cheek. Who do they think they are? Exactly. Oh, come on, Walter. Let us in. I suppose I'll have to. But keep those two away from the other pedigree contestants. We don't want them all catching fleas. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the talent section of the show to be judged by the mayor... Mrs. Creature, and of course our sponsor, Butch Butcher, purveyor of Beano Town's finest sausages. <laughs> Please welcome our first competitor, Mrs. Bonzilla Barkington Wagstaff and Los Chihuahuas Bonzilleros. <laughs> right, Nasha and Nipper. Talent? Let me see. Uh, dirt magnets? <laughs> They've got plenty of talent. They're going to wipe the floor with the other dogs. <laughs> Judging by their appearance, it looks as if you've wiped the floor with them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way they look. Hmm. Well, it's my job to marshal the contestants. Any infringement of the rules by these two, and they'll be out. Gentlemen. They scored nine out of ten for pedigree in the first round. And I'd give them at least eight for originality. Don't you think, Mr Butcher? Oh, um, uh, I think they must have been too small to see. That's what chihuahuas are, Mr Butcher. Very small. No, I mean, uh, I've lost my glasses. Oh, uh, I had them a minute ago. Good luck, Athena. And you, Miss Miniwoof. I hope you win. And now the height of fashion, Athena Kane and Miss Miniwoof. <clears throat> Very stylish, I think you'll agree. Wow, major talent. They can both walk without falling over. <laughs> Miss Miniwolf scored nine for pedigree. I'll uh, I'll give her six for talent. And switch. <laughs> what a Nasha? That's awesome. <laughs> Standing on hind legs. Hmm. I'm not sure that's allowed. Oh, give it a rest, Walter. I'm keeping an eye on you. I loved your act, Athena. Uh, so chic. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. We'll show those snooty dog owners a thing or two. <laughs> Say hello to Beano Town's favourite policeman, Sergeant Slipper, and his canine cop, Biter. Biter is a highly trained law enforcement specialist. <laughs> at, uh, at the north end of the field, you will see Constable Coughdrop. Posing as a dangerous uh, criminal perpetrator type villain. Now, watch as Biter makes the arrest. Go, boy! 
apprehend that suspicious person. <laughs> Oh, she's the perpetrator. <laughs> Even you're more obedient than Viter. <laughs> Eddie Gray was in order, but zero for talent, I think. No, I, 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 I didn't really get a good look. Um, oh. That's because you were facing the wrong way, Mr. Butcher. And now our final competitors, Nipper and uh, Nasha. <laughs> They'll probably just be chasing their own tails. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Think of the sausages. <laughs> well, Gran, if you ask me, Nasha and Nipper have the talent show in the bag. Oh, my goodness. These beastly creatures might actually win. <sighs> There must be some rule against motorbike riding. Uh, oh, yes. Marvellous idea, Athena. By gosh, I, I do I do believe you're right. That motorised vehicle is exceeding the speed limit. Biter, arrest those lawbreakers. <laughs> This is not good, Gran. Not good at all, Dennis. <gasps> My poor little babies! <laughs> I knew you'd make a mockery of everything. You and your scruffy mutt. Chill out, Walter. It's only a dog show. Yes. Well, all the other dogs have got proper pedigrees. So luckily, you've got no chance of winning. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the Best in Show trophy, which has been kindly presented by Mr Butch Butcher. Oh, I wish I had my glasses. Oh. Here they are, Mr. Butcher. Remember, best in show goes to the dog with most points for talent and pedigree. Under consideration are... Police Dog Biter, Los Chihuahuas Bouncy Leros, Nasher and Nipper, and finally, Miss Miniwolf. And the winner is... Miss Miniwolf! <laughs> I knew you would do it, my poochie witchy. Oh. class of dog. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Uh, now I've found my glasses, I can see the entry form. It says here that Nasha is an Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Really? A tripe hound? The rarest breed of all? Well, that's different. Uh, bring your dog up here, boy. What? Why is that different? If you groomed your dog up occasionally, we would have seen he's a very special breed. Of course he's special. He's my best mate. But that dog has no talent. Well, uh, not just your best uh, mate, but also I'm delighted to announce he's the best in show. <laughs> this is an Rage. Come on, sweetie. We don't need this stupid dog show anyway. I don't believe it. This has to be some kind of mistake. Rage, up, Masha. You rule. <laughs> <laughs> Family fun day at Beano Town Lake. What could be better? Hey! Oi! Oh! 
Now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? There's plenty to do. Here, dig a hole. Ah, this is the lie. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole? Hmm. OK, Nasher old chum. How do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> That'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nasher. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a flat-billed Beano Town Blue and a Pomeranian Puff Crested Dabbler. Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buzz off! No! Time for action. Crumbs away! Walter, <laughs> but you quack me up. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis. <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Hello, what's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in twenty minutes. Uh, okay. This gives me a brain stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. He's coming. Operation Destiny Dennis is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasha. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy. Step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. A nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> Just one. 
on hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert! Uh oh! <laughs> I've got you! Dennis, let go! Whoa! This isn't what I planned! Don't worry! I won't let anything happen to you! if I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? <gasps> Thanks to you, Dennis. My nerves are in shreds. Oh, maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky chop chip cherry tutti fruity with extra sprinkles. <laughs> no! And while one of them was messing about in a boat, the other one knocked me head first into the lake. Have you seen what they did to my petunias? Oh, you, you, you little hooligans. Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll, I'll spring into action like a jet-propelled panther. There they are. Look, look. Oh, horrible little horrors. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Ha-ha! <laughs> what have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well, then, that's a, that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and, and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go. Come on. No! Uh, oh! Ha, ha, ha! Bullseye! Yeah! And that's for me loopings. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I I uh I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie. <laughs> Are you sure we should 
chuck away the detention book, Dennis? Of course! If Mrs Creature hasn't got it, she won't know when we're in detention. And I'm in for the rest of the year. Yeah, but we're not. <coughs> What are you boys doing? You know you're not allowed here. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Creature. Uh, we were just looking for um, uh, uh, me old skateboard. Weren't we, Pie Face? Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> now, pay attention. Here's an important message from the mayor. Good morning, class. I am pleased to announce that Beano Town School has been chosen to test a new administration system. No more wasteful paper. Everything's been computerized. But remember, it's vital that you follow the computer's instructions to the letter. Here's my new laptop. Excellent! <laughs> This memory stick holds all the information you need. Diaries, timetables, records, everything. Now, all the info has been transferred to your laptop. Amazing! Now, all we have to do is consult the computer to see what we're doing next. There. You're all set. Thank you. Did he say... Every bit of information's in the stick, Mrs. Creature. Yes, Dennis. Including all your detentions. Plus a new one for mucking about by the bin this morning. Oh, not fair! And Curly and Pieface will be joining you. Eh? Nice one, Dennis. All afternoon in detention, thanks to you. At least you're not stuck in there forever like I am. Hey! This is the memory stick that guy had. He must have dropped it. So? So maybe we should take a little trip to the computer room. Wow! How wicked is that? It's the master program for Mrs Creature's new system. Does that mean you can delete it? Don't be daft! Why delete it when you can change it? It's time school was fun! Settle down, please. Let's see what's in store for us today. I think it's our history test this morning, Mrs Creature. Oh, it's been cancelled. Yay! That's appalling, Mrs Creature. Walter, you heard what the mayor said. We must follow the computer's instructions exactly. Now, what else has changed? Oh, all detentions cancelled. Pies and ice cream for lunch. Oh, and there's a new rule that says pets can come to school. <laughs> so, what is our first lesson, Mrs Creature? It's uh, drum and bass studies. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Dennis! <laughs> yeah, even Mrs Creature's enjoying herself. Oh, this is outrageous! The school's going to the dogs! <laughs> Mrs Creature! Oh, come on, Walter! Don't be a square! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's next, Mrs Creature? Uh, go kart racing. <laughs> I don't remember ordering all these cars. Oh, hello. That new computer system, are you sure you installed it correctly? Everything's, uh, different. Well, it will seem different for a while. Don't worry, just do what it says. It is foolproof. <laughs> Come on, Mrs Creature, you're missing all the fun. Mrs Creature, you have to stop this at once. 
She's doing what the mayor says, Walter. I think you're just trying to get her into trouble. Walter, I'm surprised at you. of those ridiculous clothes. Hide somewhere. And now, hand over those sweets. Oh, genius, Walter. Ha! This is only the beginning. Someone's changed the computer program again. Where's the memory stick? I don't know. It must have fallen out of my pocket in the car race. Right, settle down, please. So... Today we have the history test we didn't have yesterday, then maths, flower arranging, and experimental jazz appreciation. And uh, what's for lunch, Mrs. Creature? Er, uh, lettuce and seaweed soup made from hand picked Sicilian lettuce and baby Norwegian kelp. Oh! <laughs> oh, and Dennis, all your detentions are back again. Right, I should have known. I can't take much more of this. We have to get the memory stick back from Walter. And now, one of my favourites, Sleepless Night by Glass Popper Van Shriek. Chance. Right, Walter, hand it over. Catch Bertie! Dudley! Walter! Dreams, Walter! What are you boys doing in here? Look on the bright side. At least we got rid of Walter's system. Please, Mrs. Creature. No, Walter. We're going back to the old ways and that's it. Quite right, Mrs. Creature. And as for this, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Dennis! Captain Yoke of the Starship Enterprise. 
I have lost several crew members to a terrifying life form known as the Spoon. <gasps> What's that? It's one of them! I come in peace! No! <laughs> times have I told you, Dennis? Don't play with your food. You don't mind when Gran does it. I said, shut! Yes, well, she's only staying here until her foot gets better. That's right. Meanwhile, you don't mind looking after Harley, right, Dennis? Who's Harley? My hog. The pig. Sounds like fun to me. Can't wait to meet him, Gran. You will, when you go and feed him. Hey. Check out my glasses! <laughs> <laughs> Fancy mistaking a hog for a hog. A what? A pig for a motorbike. Well, that's the problem with the internet. You never quite know what you're going to get. True, but if she decided to keep the pig, why didn't she buy a home for it? You know, a sty. She did try to build a sty. And dropped a brick on her foot. Meanwhile, the pig's running around all over the place. Ah! Ah! Ooh. Uh -huh. You found Miss Bears. I wondered where they were. Ta! Right, I'm off to feed Harley. There's some leftover cabbage in the kitchen. <laughs> what a pong! Make sure he's got clean water. Will do, Gran. Come on, boy. All right. Stay and keep Nipper company. I'll see you in a bit. Come on, boys. Let's see if anyone's noticed that I put salt in the sugar bowl. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Harley. Here's your swill. <laughs> oh, <my! laughs> Steady on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. See you later, then. Bye! Oh, no! The bucket! Uh, me again, fella. Just uh, come back to get me... Ah! That little Dennis looks at it on the floor, all up the walls and all over his face and says... Me never wanted stupid birthday cake anyway. <laughs> really? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that's great. There's another one. <laughs> oh, yes. Dennis was a real handful when he was a baby. Oh, hello, love. How's Harley? Oh, a bit lively, as you can see. Mmm, <laughs> smells nice in here. Oh, yeah. Gran made a pie. <laughs> Delicious. So, are you guys ready for band practice? Bring it on! Uh, isn't that my jacket? Yes, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> oh, time for a break, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for a break. Oh, yeah, right. Oh. It's probably past Harley's feeding time. Eh? Oh. OK, Gran. Come on, lads. You can give me a hand with the pig. You go, Dennis. Your friends can catch up with you. Oh. All right. Uh, see you in a bit. I haven't played one of these since... Well, I've never played one of these. But it's never too late to learn. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Oh, here's some fertiliser for your rhubarb. What? Oh, thanks, Den. Wait a minute. I thought you were... Who's playing my guitar? <laughs> wow! I see your foot's better. Uh, oh, uh, well, actually, it doesn't hurt when I do this, but if... Oh, if I just walk like this... Oh, the pain. Right. I thought you two were too tired to keep on rocking. 
Oh, we are now. Your gran has even more energy than you do, Jen. Hmm. Come on, boy. Let's go and read some comics. And there might be a doggy treat in it for you, too. <laughs> gran, what are you doing? Oi! That was the last sausage. Oh, never mind. It's pretty much done. <laughs> Gran, you shouldn't make a fire in here. You could have burnt down me treehouse. Well, I don't know about that. It took me ages to get it going in the first place. I had to use all that paper there. My comics! You set fire to... My comics! You don't need comics. I'll tell you a funny bedtime story. It's not my bedtime. Is it not? Ah, oh, well. We'll have a laugh in the morning, eh? Oh. Here, boy. Night. What? You can't stay here. This isn't a granny flat. It's my treehouse. My treehouse. Well, at least that's over with for this morning. Dennis! Your gran says don't forget to give Harley his chewable vitamin. Oh, oh, oh. Pesky pig. Smelly swine. Pot-bellied pest. No! Hi, lads. What's going on? Just tidying up. Your gran asked me to. <laughs> what are you doing, Pie Face? Running up some curtains for the treehouse. Your gran showed me how. Right, that's it. I've had enough. If anyone wants me, I'll be in my room. Doing there? I had to get away. Oh, I thought you were hanging out with Gran. I was. I love you, Gran. She's so funny, but she had me drumming for hours yesterday. I'm worn out. All this fun is starting to feel like hard work. Yeah, I know. And her foot is totally better. I think she's well enough to go home and look after Harley. But since she started hanging out with us in the treehouse, she doesn't want to leave. That's right. And I can't keep up with her and... She ate my pie. Not ya. Yes. The pie I saved for emergencies. <laughs> right. Heads together, lads. I've got a plan. I don't know why you've brought me back home. I was really happy in the treehouse. <laughs> This way, folks! <laughs> oh, wow! You built a sky for Harley! Brilliant! Uh, careful! Mind your foot! Oh, oh! Um, actually, I think it might be getting better. Thanks, Dennis. That's okay, Gran. Do you think you're going to be able to cope all right? Harley's a bit of a handful. Oh, don't worry. I'll be able to handle him. Now he's got his own place to live in. So, where is this pig, anyway? I had to ask. Clear him, please! Get off me, you stupid pig! Hey, wait a minute. I recognise that sty. Didn't it used to be... My shed? Used to be, Dad. Used to be. Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad we've got the treehouse to ourselves again. Whoa! What's the 